the stream. Uh, such a pain sometimes. Yeah. Uh, it's only a pain because of how much I have to actually do to get it shared. I don't really have an automatic bot for it. Alright, so there's that. And then share this everywhere. Crystal jams. Bum ba dum ba da 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 Don't ask, I don't know. I don't know myself. So how am I supposed to be able to explain it? I don't know myself. <laughs> doink. Boingy doingy. Hey, there we go. And, yes. Turn this light off. Alright. The genius. No, sorry, hold on. The genius hacker Jupis Tuki McGannell hijacks the Daytron factory's mainframe in retaliation for being fired. Since the crew can't renew their visa until they capture Jupis, they decide to sneak into the factory to find him and put a stop to the whole affair. How wunderbar. Um. Ah, yes. Just gotta keep going. Timber line 3D. Alright. That dwarf thinks he's being funny. There we go. Bum, ba, dum, bum. No ordinary bum, fellow could hijack this factory. What in the world? Okay, it's gonna be a moment before that. Why are you having what problems out of the blue? Oh, you disconnected from the 5G, that's why. Alright. There we go. Gotta make sure I use the right button to jump. Don't we have to hurry? need to get across to there. the factory key, which is in... Here it is. Yes. Alright. No, not allies. Items. 
equipment first. There we go. Oilers. Okay. Hold on. I say I beam. Are you ready? Here they come. Over there. Use the rope. Let's keep going. All right. Where should we go? Here they come! Here they come! Here they come. Did I already do the, uh, no, not Metal Recorder. Frog Log. Uh, do I have a sub-weapon? Yes, I need the Tyrant Blaster EX in order to do that. Uh, Steve. Is Geohands... Oh, no, it's not Geohands in an HK. Okay, his Killer Grenades EX are already gone. Lilica, your Triton hatchet has been combined already. Hold on. But it's a Hermit Hatchet X. Ah, so I need to go ahead and analyze it. Oh, you already told me about it. Oops. This isn't good. Well, of course it's not good. in order for me to uh we're gonna have trouble getting through here oh, that's a safe point uh... alright finish exploring this this one there was another room that you could actually access I'll take you on alright the tight chase hey Katality how's it going Alright, make sure that my OBS is actually up so I can see the stuff. Alright, Trevor. I have mixed feelings about fighting robots. Yes, I know you do, Steve. Entering battle, everyone. Hey, how are you? 
I'm not doing too bad. Here goes. I'm here, mostly. <laughs> Don't cross our path. I'm just enjoying myself. I had to uh, we'll cut down part of my enough. time with the uh, other stream I was in earlier because I kind of have other plans. I'm also trying, on top of the two streams that I'm a part of on Saturday, one for myself, one for the uh, approach vector crew. Um, I'm also trying to do a gaming uh, thing with two people, my girlfriend and my roommate, so and I don't need that running too late because I still have work in the morning on top of all that. Rock Crusher! Sounds like your book today. Yeah, and it's going to be a regular occurrence uh, as the weeks go by. Hold on. Frog log. What was the other one? Uh, meeting. Ridge Crusher, Rock Crusher. Guy Crusher, Shining Horn. Ah, that needs a Metal Breaker. Okay. Shining horn. So Saturdays are going to be a very busy day, unless family friends end up popping up, in which case all other things are out the window, because family plans have higher priority. I'll take you Always. on. Here they come. Are you ready? Right. <laughs> Are you going to be streaming to uh, the streaming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, this is this is the uh, other stream for today. I already fin I already finished with the uh, first one that I was doing. This is my other stream. Just one problem after another. The uh, gaming with my roommate and my girlfriend is actually not going to be a stream because, frankly, that doesn't need to be streamed. Not everything has to be streamed. Here they come, entering battle. <laughs> There we go. Praise to all the many spirits. Streaming too much can be very bad. Just like playing this too much video games. Feel right. And yes, I do agree there is a such thing. I'll take you on. Here they come. Something that some people I know would need to do. There we go. That's how you get it. So what done. do you got planned for today, Katality? Okay. I keep forgetting I can just shorten your name to K. <laughs> Analyze. The bow. I don't know. Oh right, Steve is the one in the third slot. Dynamite hands. Well, I don't have anything else for him, so yeah. Dr. Picaccio should have looked for another group of 
Are you ready? To do things. I'll take you on. Here they come. Nebula Opal. Very nice. Uh, no, not strategy. Revelation! Revelation! Yeah! <laughs> Please don't ask. Thumbs up, probably handy. Here they come. Here they come. Beat the king. Jasper. There we go. That's the end of that. I'm actually. We're not being misled, are we? Here. Into the main train room. Well, hello, Jupus. It seems we have come to defeat you. Huh? Oh, you're here already? Well, yeah. We've got you cornered, Jupus Tukey. You can't run from us! Ah, awfully persistent, aren't you? No sweat, though. I might just have a little trump card here. Here's Johnny! Who's Johnny? Um... Wow. That's quite the trump card, all right. Yeah. <laughs> forearmed is forearmed! Right. The Jupus robot. It's showtime! Okay. I won't go easy on you. We're talking a million volts of pure power. Here we go, Johnny. I see. Where'd this robot come from? This guy is really getting on my nerves. I'm sensing a strong barrier. Faster! 
is never gonna work. Like it? It's my landmark invention, a barrier system using time-space energy. Your feeble girly man attacks have absolutely no effect on it. Damn. Jaster! The barrier shot. Dr. Picaccio? What? Dr. Picaccio? I'm very impressed, Jupus. Your research into space-time energy has come a long way. But the time has come for you to step back. Huh? That can't be! <laughs> Excellent! It worked! Jaster! I got it. There you go. Use it just like I showed you. Thanks. That's our Dr. Picacho. Thank you so much. All right, barrier break shot. Ah! Using new weapons, that's not fair! Okay. All right, change equipment, sub weapon. To the barrier break shot. Now. Abilities! Desert Wing 2! Abilities! I see I beam! Yeah. to be you. <laughs> we did it! Let's finish this, Jaster! Oh, you are so naive! I still have an ace up my sleeve! Oh boy. Johnny! Switch into Super Deluxe Mode! So, no more barrier? Uh-oh. My fury's like a big bang! I'll take care of this once and for all! Think they turn you red will help? Alright, let's go back to using the Callisto shooter. Alright. 
Space compressor and a Mobius battery. You certainly didn't make it easy for us. I'm sure you'll understand if you let me explain. Hmm. Huh. It's a little too late for that. <laughs> Come on, just hear what I have to say. It's a hard story to tell and a hard one to hear. You'll probably think I'm so pitiful. <laughs> I already think you're pitiful. Fine. Out with it. Ah, don't rush me. <laughs> anyway, I worked I for like Datron, those two. or did before I was fired. I was the lead researcher on time-space energy. Know anything about that? Nope. It's a theory about an unlimited energy source that can solve the galaxy's resource problems. For hmm. us researchers, it's like a never-ending romance. <laughs> okay. I was one step closer to a breakthrough. Good morning. So, Jupus, you've been up all night working too? <laughs> yeah, you too? We'll need a full week of sleep to make up for all of this. <sighs> oh, I'm fine. I'm just happy to have this opportunity to work with the Chief. Huh? Jupus, is this what I think it is? Hmm, pretty soon, pretty soon. I just need to solve this equation and it'll be complete. Mm. So we're almost finished. The truths of the universe are about to be laid bare. Hmm. Uh. 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 
With this data, becoming the ruler of the universe is no longer just a dream. Hey, excuse me? My data was destroyed. That's when Datron fired me. I see. So it was your assistant Tony who caused the accident. Uh. And now you're trying to get them to hire you back? No, not at all. This is revenge. That accident was all part of Datron's plan. They wanted that data all to themselves. They got Tony to play his role in bringing me down. <laughs> You've got to believe me. Oh! I knew I could count on the Desert Claw, but I still can't believe you caught Jupus this quickly. Mm -hmm. All right, Jupus Tukey McConnell, you're coming with us. You have a Daytron inquest to attend. Oh, so now you're going to take me to court, huh? Forget it, I'm not standing for any fake trial. If you come clean <laughs> now, we can lighten your punishment. No way! You want the death penalty, and I don't want to die. All I wanted to do was recover all of my research. So, this means... I guess I have no choice! I can't see! Don't open fire. That rat! Over there! Thank you for that smoke nut. Successfully blinding you. I won't let you catch me. Adios, amigos. <laughs> that guy is unbelievable. He has nowhere to run. I've dispatched soldiers to all likely locations. It's only a matter of time before we get him. Phew. So that's that then. Dr. Picacho, if you wouldn't mind, could you please restart the mainframe for us? Of course. Please, come to my office. Okay. Hmm. Everything should be fine now. It seems that Jubis has not lost his pride as a scientist after all. The mainframe computer hasn't been harmed one bit. I see. That's excellent news, Doctor. We owe it all to you, Desert Paul. Sure. Yeah. Now, about that reward. Let's see. How would you feel if I gave you this Picacho factory? Huh? Yeah. You mean you're going to use my factory again? What's going on, Star? You've had plenty of time to rest by now, Doctor. I think it's time to forget about the past and return to your work. Don't you agree? <laughs> well? With a facility like this, he'd be able to produce all kinds of items. It'd be nice. much better than some lousy reward money. What do you say, Mr. Rogue? All right. We'll take the factory. So, you really want to use my factory? Well, yeah. I see. Then I'll bring it back up to speed as soon as possible, so that you will be able to utilize it. Thank you. It's a deal, Dr. Focaccio. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. You seem to be doing very well, Steve. You have good friends by your side, and you look happy. <laughs> I'm relieved to know you're doing so well. By the way, can I ask you a small favor? Would you mind contacting me once in a while to tell me about the things you see and do on your journey through the galaxy? Oh yeah, the that's right! I, I forgot do. about that! Well, of course. But why? Oh, well, it's nothing really. It's just that... I don't know. I, I've been pretty lonely lately. 
I forgot Is about all? the whole thing all with right. Steve and him. I'll definitely keep in touch with you and tell you all about our adventures then. Oh, really? How excellent. I'm so glad. Hmm. Thank you, Steve. It's no trouble at all. Well, then, it's time for you to go until we meet again. You'll, yes, you'll find go. out later on what I'm referring to, what I'm on about. <laughs> Thank you for I don't waiting. want to make any spoilers. Sure the long way around, but the Galaxy Corporation should be back online now. Let's go see. Finally. All right. Let's use the factory. Factory can produce wonderful items that can be of great use during your adventure. Select uh, factory from the main menu to operate the factory. Okay. Speak to Dr. Picaccio for more, uh, for information about Magical Smelter, the first production plan to be created. The person next to him sells materials. If you need some additional materials, you can obtain them here. You'll be able to produce lots of useful items for your adventure here. Please make good use of it. What's this? One of the legendary seven star swords can be made here? Items produced are not obtained here. After a short while, they become available for purchase in shops. Very nice. New materials. Alright. Let's see what we got. Go ahead with ten of those. Have ten of those. Punch 2! Uh, we can almost go straight to Electro Punch 3. Shock defense! Perfect. Anything else? No? Okay. And just to make sure. Hey, Sylvia. Notifications are also messed up. I didn't show I was hosting unless you're on the place. I'm on the PlayStation, that's why. Thank you for hosting. We have, when I'm on the PlayStation, only the uh, the alerts that pop up on OBS will actually show. Yeah, I don't have a capture card. Dr. Picacho, how's it going? Magical Smelter doesn't seem to be operating. Maybe it's because the factory hasn't been used for so long. What do you think? Should we get down to rebuilding this thing? Alright. There's capture cards for the PlayStation. The uh, capture card gets plugged into the computer, and you hook up video game systems to that. And that allows you to play the system via your computer as its own separate, like, window or something. I don't know the whole thing with it, but I know using capture cards, you can play the PlayStation and override any of the PlayStation limitations 
from that uh, that they just put into place for the games, like that final chapter in Final Fantasy VII that I still haven't done. Um, there's you can also plug in the Switch, the GameCube, uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System. From my understanding, can also be plugged into a capture card. I don't know if there's like specific ones you have to buy to be able to do that, but I do know that they exist. Alright, so first things first. Unconscious defense. Magical smelter. Set. Yes. Hold on. Alright, so the space compressor and the Mobius battery need to just... Uh, are the only two. For it. Alright, place. Let's see. Let's travel around for a bit. Alright. It's got its own miniature, uh... Satisfactory type thing. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. All right. Smelter form press. I think I need the form press. a machine using a compressor and Mobius battery. says that I'm supposed to put combine them into one. The assembler. That's what I need. I forgot there's a uh, small issue with trying to. Uh... You have to make sure that every single item gets in there at the same time, otherwise, it doesn't work. Now to plug it all up. Hold on. 
remove. There we go. Place. There we go. And then this. Okay. That's not gonna work. Remove. Alright, place. Alright, run it! Okay, or improperly processed, I forgot! You also have to act. Mm. Alright. Good lord, I forgot so much about this. I completely forgot how much of a pain it was. Alright. Let me go ahead and remove this and this. Alright, so for the mecha I mecha thing I need what was it? Uh, that's from metal. Uh, it's from molten metal. All right, a machine. There we go. Circuit washer. Washer takes two, disassembler takes four. I am playing Rogue Galaxy. It is a wonderful game that I absolutely love. Alright, so if I set that there, that makes that two. I need to move the assembler two over. There we go. But yeah, th this is a wonderful game that's also made by the same people who made. Um, what was it? The uh, Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2. It's an RP. It's a JRPG, as the other two were. But this one, there's a lot more stuff that you can do in it, and the fighting is very interesting. All right, so that should do for that. Where's the end table? Completion table. Alright, now to plug everything in. There we go. Alright. 
currently trying to make a magical smelter. Alright. Athenor, the magical smelter. Ultra useful assembler. I need three chaos chips, which I don't have any at all, and I need two O3 CPUs. Uh, five iron boards and three dream flower ash. First things first, I need to set the materials. I need five of these. Sit there. And I need three of these. Alright, so I need to place Okay, so what's the point of the game? Do you just build stuff and try to survive in the galaxy or something? No, this is actually something extra that you can do. It allows you to gain access to better items throughout the uh, galaxy as you play. And you unlock more recipes uh, as you go through the game. Um, but by doing this, you can create weapons, items, and other things that you're going to eventually need in some cases so that you can progress further into the game. There's a couple, there's only a couple items that are absolutely necessary to continue the game, and then there's a whole bunch of other things that are just extra that you don't need to do, but it is extremely helpful if you do it. Alright, so what did that count as anyways? Cemetery. That was just metal. Metal. Okay, so I do need to place the entire thing of smelter, which has five for its time. The form press, which is another three. That's eight. And the cooler doesn't take any time. It just needs one space. So, that's eight machine part uh, for the machine bit, and this is six. Okay. So I just need to... I see what I need to do. Move. Also currently downloading the forest for later. Surprising doesn't take up too much space. It's only about two gigs. Yeah, it's not a big game overall. Well, it is, but it isn't. Alright, there's that. And now I can just go ahead and replace, replace that there, 
move these out of the way. Forwards or backwards? All right, that should be it. Now to just plug everything in. Got a place back. I'll plug this stuff back in. Oh. 
I forgot. Yeah, the line for the alchemy uh, thing is too long by one. So now I need to move those down by one. we go. Uh. Doo -doo. Unconscious guard. Got it. Got a sample of it and soon we can buy it in the shops. And I think that's all for now. Hey G-Man. Not too bad. I need chaos chips in order to be able to get that. Alright. So let me go ahead and get out of the factory. You know there was a factory minigame system in this? Yeah. Alright. That's fine, whatever. Put it first. Yeah, I need... I need another one of these, and then I need Chaos Chips, which I also need those for the uh, Revelation stuff. Alright, bye. Oh good, he's got plenty of the uh, O3s. I don't remember what sources you get the blueprint from, renewed. but... Ooh, hey. Oh, wait, no, I can't open that chest. Alright, gotcha. Magical smelter doesn't seem to be operating. I already rebuilt it. Hey, Star. Dr. Picaccio was a great scientist. It's unfortunate that what happened to him after the loss of his son, he's now just a shell of his former self. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, I'm not saying anything about that. Robot engineering, don't know why, but he declined to present his work, new work and retired. Oh, wait. Alright. Now. Teleport out of the Starship Factory. All the way to frickin' Galaxy Corp, so we can finally get our thing renewed, so we can finally get off the planet! <sighs> All we wanted to do was renew the visa, so this way we could park it on the planets. But no, they had to make it so frickin' difficult by sending us to jail, and then we had to escape, do a jailbreak, met up with the commander of the frickin' Don't we army. Have to hurry? And then they couldn't do it still because Jupus and his stupidity. <sighs> Hi! Welcome to the Galaxy Corporation! Hi, you saw the Mio! With that terrorist, and the mainframe's back up and running! You're I'm ready welcome. to process your request now! Oh, really? I this time hate for sure? you! This time for sure! I mean, come on, that is my job after all. Duh. 
<sighs> this is all we need. Please, can you issue us a new galactic travel visa now? Absolutely! What have you got? ZR-KJ1701, the Dorgan Ark. Looks like the category of this vessel is a free sailing freighter. All right. And there we go. Now you're all set. That's oh it. my god. That's all it took? Do it fast and do it right. That's the motto of the Galaxy Corporation. We look forward to serving you again. Wait. I have two cards here. What's this? Oh, I hate that card. Oh, that's just a little present for me. Member number 78,500 is a bit high, but what can you do? <laughs> Shut up. Well, aren't you lucky? Huh? Thanks for your support. <sighs> I hate you. Remember, keep your Mio club card on you like all at all times when you're out roaming the galaxy. Don't forget about Mio. <sighs> Hi, Stacy. <laughs> She's well educated and <laughs> beautiful, Barbie. Let's keep going. Computer is back online, all systems go, and I can get back to work. So how can I help you? <sighs> Let me go ahead and get the Tomb Guardian and the Cave Bandit. So that's on Vidan, and so is this. I now have two hunts. Finally, now we can, we can go finally back to the ship to space. and get the fuck off this planet. And all in the first hour. <laughs> Dorgan Arc to the control room. <sighs> Finally. Hi, Simon. Huh? Hmm. Now this is a good looking ship. I like it. I like it. Hey. What are you doing here? He's joining us. I'll be on the most wanted list before long, right? My house is surrounded by soldiers. I have nowhere to hide. So I decided to become a crew member here till things die down. <laughs> oh yeah, says who? Says the guy who says owns the place. Me, that's who? Jupus is a vital part of the Dorganark team. This is good. This is great. He bribed you. So he bribed you. Mm. This is so good! He bribed everyone! You folks are lucky to have me as a friend. It'll be nice working with you. Ow! Hey, what was that for? Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Only one more character to get. And we are on our way to go meet him. <laughs> the master hacker, Jupus, is now part of the crew. By the time the captain woke up from his nap, he slept way longer than usual this time. Tough life, eh? Yeah, yeah. Everyone on board's feeling a bit tense at the moment. This is where my amazing people skills come in handy. Watch me placate everyone with my dazzling charms. Right, by just standing there and not doing a damn thing. Hey, Zygrim. 
What is this, some kind of gathering of social misfits? Why the hell are we recruiting all these weirdos? Who called in the blue guy? Alright. Save. Can I go back here yet? Nope. Alright. Captain will be waking up soon. Make sure you show the proper respect. Okay. Hey, Steve. <sighs> I wonder why I couldn't select any of the planets. Atmosphere on the ship sure has changed of late. Mr. Rogue, why don't you relax and go for a stroll around the ship? Alright. See you guys in the bar. Chupus. No one wants to come near me. I get it, they must be overwhelmed by my charismatic presence. Ah. The only thing that you and Simon share. Chupus seems to be really enjoying my rich jar and roast coffee. Nice. Are you looking at me like that? This is all for Jupus. I had nothing. Hold on. I had nothing to do with it. Uh huh. Sure. How many people are there on this ship? Okay. I really don't like that lizard. If he does anything stupid, I'll twist his skinny neck into a knot. Sounds good. I apparently can't go outside. Maybe I'll go take a look outside. Okay, going back upstairs, I guess. Oh, right. Go outside. Go back down. Alright, let's go take a look outside. See what's going on. Can't hurt to take it easy once in a while. Uh. If you want to catch a view, this is definitely the place. Hmm. So nice. Everyone looks so relaxed. Is there anyone out here? Ah, there is someone out here. Hey, Davis. It's because of the captain's influence that we're always out there trying to help people. Believe it or not, the captain's actually a big softie. Mr. Rogue, hurry yep. to the bridge. The captain has awakened from his nap. Finally. The captain? You mean Dorgan Goa? I get to meet him? Finally? After all In this fact, time? fact, I believe he has specific orders for you. Alright. Ah, Desert Claw! Taking orders straight from the boss, huh? Everyone's on the bridge already. You'd better get moving. Yeah, yeah, I will. Also known as Teleport. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, Jaster. Quite a promotion, huh? I hear this next mission is all yours. Oh, Papa's lovely. usually not one to trust people. Good for you, Jaster. I'm now very Good afraid. For you. 
Maybe, if you're the real deal. All present and accounted for? My most distinguished pirates! Jorgen Goa, our great and honorable captain, has finally awakened! Yep. Company Balin! <laughs> the captain is on the bridge! <laughs> I finally get to meet him. Dorgan Goa. By far the largest guy. <laughs> oh my god, Dorgan Goa is in my chat. Welcome. Scalawags, how are things? Guess I was out for a little too long this time. Well, can't very well sleep forever. <laughs> it's time we go out and fulfill my ambition. <laughs> I'm sorry, that timing could not have been better. So, did we ever find the Desert Claw? Yes, he's right here. Yeah, about that. Didn't you hear me? Where's Desert Claw? Uh, uh, um, right here, sir. No. Desert Claw is actually just a heel. Actually, about that. What? This kid? <laughs> you, <laughs> you... You... You imbeciles! You idiot! This runt ain't the Desert Claw! What? Yeah, I've been meaning to tell but you that this entire time. He's got to be just as terribly strong. There's no way. How could we be wrong on this? I know what Desert Claw looks like. And this snot-nosed little whelp don't look like Desert Claw. Hmm. You tricked us. I did Good not grief, trick you. Jester. Is it true? Uh, no, I just... I'm sorry. I meant to come clean sooner or later. Oh my goodness! Uh, what a frightful mess! Tie this imposter up and toss him overboard! Oh, they are horses. Jester might not be Desert Claw, but he's our friend. Please, Papa, don't punish him. <laughs> Where's Desert Claw? <laughs> Kisala, why are you sticking up for this scurvy dog? While you were taking a nap, Jaster was a tremendous help to us. A true pirate never forgets his obligations, right? That's right. And Mr. Rogue's strength is for real. Captain, I guarantee without a shadow of a doubt, it'll be good to have Jaster around. We're begging you. Oh, let him stay in the crew, okay? Hmm. Oh, now you have to pour it on. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of suckers. Captain! Yeah. I can't hear myself think! Shut up! <laughs> Scurvy dogs? Exactly whose ship do you think this is? You bunch of selfish crybabies. <laughs> Jaster, was it? Yep. Oh, How's it right going, Captain? I'll give you another chance. Let's see if you can prove your usefulness. Papa! That's our captain! Hmm. However, if you screw up, it's curtains for you. You got that, Jester? Duh. Yes, sir. I understand. Hmm. What is it that you'd like me to do, Captain? Hmm. But before that, all your dogs, clean out your ears and listen good. I'm gonna tell you of my top secret plans that I've been keeping you in the dark about till now. Really, Captain? Hmm. Well, this should be entertaining. Hmm. So you're finally going to tell us? It is rather odd not even to tell your crew the reason for their voyage. Come on, Papa. Out with it. All of you just shush so he can actually talk. Jeez. My ultimate goal is the legendary lost planet of Eden. 
Hmm. A lot of the stuff between the three games, Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud 2, and Dark uh, and uh, Rogue Galaxy, are very much intertwined. It would not surprise me if this game took sa took place in the same universe as the Dark Cloud series. There are people there that live forever. You're not telling the fruits me you of really Eden. believe in all that hogwash, are you? For example, come from the planet Eden. Eden suddenly vanished from our galaxy some 10,000 years ago. And that's another thing. Supposedly, they were even more advanced than Zerad. It is the utopia spoken 10, of in legends years. throughout the galaxy. 10,000 hey, years you can put such a crick in your neck. Shut up! I'm dead serious. Hmm? It'll take one hell of a mission to be able to find the path to Eden and actually make it there. And that's why I ordered you to scout out the very best hunters. In other words, we are going to strip Eden bare of all its spoils. Yeah. The galaxy's foremost treasures will be mine. Moonshot. Nice. Aye, aye, Captain. Deadlights on the screen, mates. <laughs> I take it you all know about the Geo Record. It's the galaxy's top adventure log, containing every kind of treasure. <laughs> According to this, Eden has an undeniable tie to the Great Tablets. Great Tablets? Mm. Ancient tablets. We've been looking for them for ages. I get it now. That's why you've been so obsessed with them. If my intuition is correct, the secret that will open the path to Eden is hidden on the great tablets. But before we can get to Eden, we've got to get our hot little hands on those tablets first. According to my sources, a huge ancient tablet was excavated from a mine on Vedan just the other day. Hmm. I don't know if this is one of the tablets, but it's certainly worth investigating. Fair enough. The mines are controlled by the Zax Morardi family, and they ain't pleasant to deal with. <laughs> Listen up, Jaster. You're going down to Vedan to find out if that tablet is legit. Okay. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Succeed, and I'll permit you to stay. Sounds good. That's great news, Jester. I was a little nervous for a second there. <laughs> huh. You're not getting soft on me, are you? <laughs> Didn't you notice? Something special about him. Of all the warriors I've come across in my life, this is only the second one. I can that's see your every step. <laughs> is that right? And who was the I'm first sure. guy? Desert Claw, the real Don't one. Don't even that think is. to run away. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Could Desert Claw be my dad? I actually don't know on that one. Alright. <laughs> Dorgan goes comments have me thinking about the uh uh the what is that song's title? I think it's called Animal. So what if you can see the darker side of me? That one. So this is Vidan. Over 40% of the galaxy's metal I can't and minerals are mined here in Vidan. The vast resources available here make it one of the top mining planets. <laughs> That's the reason why. My Looks the line, dark. I can't escape this uh -huh. out. The sun never rises in this mining sector. 
This place is also known as the City of Eternal Night. Hmm. Pretty romantic, don't you think, Jester? City sure, if you don't Eternal mind Night. the uh, smell of smoke. So, where do we and start? Bog and bog well, and everything else. We'll have to go to the mines if we want to check on this tablet. Most likely, mm -hmm. they only allow authorized people to enter. We should start off by heading into town and try to find a way into the mines. That's fair. Interplanetary travel! I can finally travel between the different uh, planets. Going down. I wonder where this is. Okay. Shop. Heard the ores from this planet sell at a good price, so I came to stock up. Interesting. I sold out of all the uh, short supply stuff. Got a ruby. So, let me go ahead and update your stuff. Alright, defense up. Dagger slash. Stay going. Some lubricant. Even women need to be tough to survive in the city. Alright. Eugene. Uh, Another chest. Super CPU. Don't fall behind, okay? Just trying to get run over by a train, don't mind me. Hope it all goes well. I, I just realized this is very similar to, uh, the, a mix of the music between Dark Cloud 2's main uh, town, uh, Palm Brinks, as well as the sewers, I think. I 
there a chest all the way back here? Or did I just waste all this time? Let's keep this pace up! I just wasted all this time. Alright, cool. That's nice. Yes, to Minus Station. And that looks like freaking Midgar from Final Fantasy VII. Okay, no, this is the direction I want to go. Pretty rough and tumble town. Hey Chuck, here to visit Anne on business, but the town really seems dangerous. We better collect some information first. Hey Shuba. Isn't it beautiful? I've been here in Maya so long, just working. I forgot that there's actually nature in Badan. Yeah, it's an ocean. I'd like to come back here on my day off. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, this looks like it can't be opened, yeah. <clears throat> Until I get the silver key, I can't open that one. I needed some exercise anyway. Gotta go all the way down here just to check to see if there's a chest. There is not a chest. Rough and tumble town. Hey, can we rest for a bit? They haven't even done anything yet. We better collect some information first. Director, welcome to my Lida. I came to Vidan sightseeing, but now I'm headed home. There really were gangsters in this town. There's guys packing heat all over the place here. That doesn't surprise me. Salva, I'm saying goodbye to Mina. I don't want anything to do with the Moriarty family anymore. Yeah, good luck with that. They'll find you wherever you go. Hey, Mark, Mark, uh, Mar Margetto? Marzito? Defuse the bomb! Hmm. Let's keep this pace up! No, I wanted that save point. Welcome to Mina. Hmm? <laughs> um Hold up, old man! You think you can get away with this? Hmm. <laughs> Are those Moradi's men? The coast is clear. Ah. This guy is Sorry, so strange. Don't, don't worry, I don't bite. My name is Burton. I'm an explorer who came all the way out here to examine the ancient tablets they discovered in the mine. 
Okay. Hold on a second. You're here for that too? Oh, ho! so you know about them. I bet you're here gathering info yourselves as well. In that case, how about we swap data, eh? Um, well, sure, but we don't have much yet. Well, so far, I've managed to learn that the miners hang out in a place called Angela's Bar. I oh, reckon okay. if we go there, we'll be able to find out something. The only thing is, I have no idea where the place is. How about you? Mm, Angela's Bar. We just arrived, huh. so... There he is! Uh-oh, this isn't good. Wait! Burton! Huh? Hey, Hi. you guys! You're in cahoots with that old coot! Huh? No. What do you guys want? What's going on? Mm. I don't like this. Don't hey, you aim a gun on. at me? How did we get involved? Here we go. You want to play that game? Desert Wind. How do you like sand in your treasures? Apparently not at all. How dare you defy the Marathi clan? No. If you know what's good for you, you'll get lost! Okay. Uh-oh. Now we've gotten their attention. That old guy mentioned something about Angela's bar. Maybe we can learn a few things if we go there. Alright. Let's try to find it. Hmm, okay. Hey, Jimra. Alba. There are so many places for chests to hide here. Pretty rough and tumble town. Yeah, a little late on that. Hey, hey Roy. Huh? Here comes the train, please don't walk on the rails. I'll take you on. Zombies and stray dogs. You think I'm gonna go easy? That's how you get it done. Hello. Power Station Plaza. Okay. I'd like to come back here on my day off. It's a chest with a gold lock. Gold, bronze, something like that. You better collect some information first. Let's go. I'll take you on. I'm not going to succeed. Get rid of him. Ha, those guys were no challenge at all. Ooh, elixirs. And I can upgrade Kisala's shoes. Okay. Mode sneakers, leather sneakers, oh, stars. Yes. Alright, combine. 
Leather Sneakers, and the Violet Stars. And what do we get? Now that's Prime what Sneakers I call ass. A Interesting. The Morardi family, huh? Sounds dangerous. Oh. Rough and tumble town. The monkey saw. We can see where we're going. The only way to travel in Gerard. I wonder where this is. It's them again. Mommy, is Daddy here? I'm not sure, darling. Well, he might be, but he might not be. Out of the way! Jackasses. Mommy! Why did you do that to my mommy? It's all right, Jia. I just tripped, that's all. Mommy! If Daddy were here, he'd beat up those bad guys. When are we going to hmm. Sorry, honey. I'm so sorry for putting you through all this. Your daddy, he's working really hard to help people, to help the world. I'm sure we'll find him soon. So hang in there, okay? Okay. I'll try, mommy. I don't recall if that was ever resolved in the, uh... Well, by the end of the game. Hey, Spud. We're not the only ones looking for the Great Tablet, are we? Here they come! Desert Wind. Let's go! End of that. All right. A mellow banana. Power station is this way. The Morardi family, huh? Sounds dangerous. I'm gonna go easy. Well, I'll take you on. Uh, these guys have barriers. Uh, 
Alright, items. Start time. I'm back. Desert wind. That's how you get it done. Don't mind me, just learning how to fly. Oh, it's the Morardi family. They sure don't look friendly, do they? Trifle heals. Stone crystal. Looks like a nice piano. And there's the last party member. Give me another. Ah, oh, drop it, would you? Why can't I drink as much as I want? Because then you'd be no good. Come on, cut it out. You never used to be like this. What happened to the old Digo, the heroic soldier? Look at you. You're just a shell of your former self. Yeah, seems to be a lot of that going around. And look at me. Silly enough to fall in love with such a miserable man. <laughs> oh, this again. I'm tired of talking about the past. Diego. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. Something to drink? This way. Oh, it's that old guy. <laughs> what was that for? All I did was just ask around about the tablet. Oh, uh, sorry about that. All this secretive sniffing around. Guess you still have no idea. Gale. Keep sneaking around. And you'll be putting your life at stake, old man. No, I, I was just... <laughs> Haven't seen you before. Hello. Something's fishy. Who are these guys? They are my customers, Gale. And while they're in my bar, you don't get to hassle them. Huh. Look, this is a very important time for our town. Don't do anything that would make anyone suspicious. That goes for you too, Angela. Gail, threaten the bartender and you royally fucked up. No? Good. Just remember, defy Zax Morardi and you won't survive for very long in this town. So don't try anything stupid. Got that, Angela? Again, don't and threaten Diego, the person who pours the drink. your legs as usual. All that money you scraped up in the mines... Was that just to buy yourself some drinks? You definitely are a loser, Digo. Pathetic. Move. <laughs> the three of them used to be such good friends. is great! Why, it's fate that has brought us together! Say, big fella, 
You look like you work at the mine. Is there a secret entrance to that place? Would you be so kind as to show me? Oh. No thanks. I'm not getting involved. Oh, come on. Please. Don't make me tell you again. I won't do it. Oh, -ho. I see how it is. You're afraid of that fella. You look pretty tough, but you're really just a wuss, aren't you? What? Whoa, wait a second. Don't get mad. This has been a dream of mine. They found an ancient tablet in a mine on this planet. Its archaeological value is absolutely mind-boggling. I can't die until I've gazed upon that tablet and unlocked its secrets. Come on, can't you help an old archaeologist dream come true? A dream come true? So that's your dream, huh? You bet! Tell me, you got money, old man? <laughs> oh, oh, that's rich. Oh, my. Have faith, good fellow. Money is no object for me. All right. Hey, why don't we go with them, Jester? Oh, so you two want to help as well? Sure. Might as well. Can we come along? Are you serious? Of course! Of course! All that right, man knows how to settled. move. The Burton Caravan is off to find the Great Tablet! Then we better leave soon. First, you need an ID card. The item shop downtown should have some black market cards. Gale's got his eye on you, old man. You stay here. We'll get the card for you. Okay. Oh, I see. Yes, all right. But you know, I will get a little lonely. Oh, don't worry. I'll be happy to keep you company. <laughs> ah, yes? That sounds marvelous. Ah, haven't had a drink with a beautiful woman in quite some time. Very well, <laughs> good luck out there, troops. Oh, and feel free to take your time. Huh? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Digo's revelation thing. All right, so there's that. Meanwhile, hmm. Here's a big reveal. Dr. Picacho? Dr. Picacho, can you hear me? Yes, the connection is excellent, Steve. And I'm glad to see that you seem to be doing well, too. Of course I am. That's because of your brilliant design, Dr. Picacho. <laughs> so you've learned how to do flattery now, huh? That's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> Listen, I'd like to make a small adjustment. Do you mind if I take control of your circuits for a while? Not at all. Be my guest. Hmm. There you go. His son. Who has Mark, inhabited what space like? It's fantastic and totally different than I pictured. It's like the stars go on forever and ever. Hmm. I really have to thank you and Steve. You're welcome. And the great tablet. What's that? It's this really huge treasure. With the great tablet, you can go to this paradise called Eden. So now we're all looking for it. Eden, huh? I wish I could see it in person. I'll tell you all about it. I'm glad. 
I'm looking forward to that, Mark. Just leave it to me. Gosh, I can't believe how excited I am. <laughs> you can trust the people in the tool shop as long as you've got the money. You can trust them as long as you've got money. Okay, desert ones. Here they come. I have no pity for those who obstruct me. You know. Across the Marardi family in this town, and you're as good as dead. Keep this up. Yeah, Vidan is an extremely gargantuan place to be running around at. Here they come. Star time. Okay, it, it's barely doing anything. <sighs> There we go. That's the end of that. Oh, I'm still equipped with the uh barrier shot, duh. Alright, analyze Star Edge EX. Fine. You and you. Voila. Hey, perfect. Shining blazing. Weapon. Aqua Slashers. Too easy. 
Hey, a diamond. The Morardi family, huh? Sounds dangerous. Hmm. There are dog people, and then there are dogs. I'd like to come back here on my day off. What's a day off? I'll take you on. And there we go. That's the end of that. Across the Marathi family in this town, and you're as good as dead. <sighs> Here we go. Someone who has an idea. Medusa's locks, dream flower ash, and snow crest. What was it? I think it was an item that reduces an enemy's something. Seals away defense. Yeah, that's what I need. Bomb. Got a walkie-talkie. Woo! Hello there! Alright. Hey, the unconscious guard. The mine ID. Strategy revelation. Okay, never mind. I'm not worried about it though. Energy charger. Not you again. <laughs> I saw a suspicious looking ship dock at port, and guess what? It's yours. Okay, and? Hey, Digo. Want to get yourself taken in on aiding and abetting charges? And what would you Excuse do? Excuse me? Want to take me on? What are we doing? I won't stand here and be defeated by one of Morardi's laptops. What are we even doing that's illegal? Go on, taunt me while you still can. Once Morati's trade with Daytron succeeds, I'll be rolling in the Zen. Then it's farewell, Vidan. Wait, you're not serious. Are you considering going back to the military? Who knows? No more chit chat. I've been given orders by Zax Morati to do away with a lot of you. If that's the case, then you should have let us walk. Tigo? You ain't beating the vibe. You shouldn't have challenged us. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> huh. Worthless goons. Tigo, you loser. How all you want. It won't change a thing. I'm not like you, you know. 
You don't see me rolling over and playing dead. Don't you get it? The military doesn't need outdated soldiers like us anymore. Shut up! Watch your back, Digo. Payback's a bitch. It is. Unfortunately, Move. you have too much bad karma. <laughs> Digo. He's changed. He sold his soul to get back into space. <laughs> so, both of you guys used to be soldiers? Yeah, a long time ago. But Longardi has changed. There's no place for us now. I don't know Fair. why you can't get that through your head, Gale. Back then, competing with you to be top dog. How the mighty have fallen. Hmm. <laughs> It's a disaster! An absolute disaster! Something terrible's happened! What's oh. going on? Oh. Someone set the bar on fire! What? Could it have been Gale? Hurry up! It's burning right down to the ground, but Angela is refusing to leave the bar! Oh no. Come on, Digo, let's go! I hope you're all right. Angela! Angela. That jackass needs to die. <laughs> Funny thing, Don't it's behind, actually okay? faster to teleport. On fire! Ah! How awful! Angela, where are you? Right here. Are you okay? I think so. That's good. I'm sorry, Digo. My bar. It's history now. I know it was your one and only hangout. Angela. I didn't go there. To hang out. I went to be with you. Uh, Digo. I can't believe Gail would do this. <laughs> Hey, G-Man. Sorry I can't talk, uh, take that character seriously with that dog head on it. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, he would look weird with any other heads on it, on him. Civilians. What do you mean? The enemies are supposed to be special forces in disguise. We've been set up. This is a civilian ship. Why? How could this happen? Oh no! I won't let you kill our children! Ah! <clears throat> Stop! Hold your fire! You bastards! Gale. Stop. Ah! <sighs> we killed a lot of citizens out of sheer ignorance. But that's no excuse. Gale and I quit the military after that incident. Since then, everything's gone crazy. 
But why would they do this? The and after he was done with the guy with the gun, end. he took out the children, like that just to be sure. Aside. Pretty much. They wanted to stir up hatred for the other side, and did whatever they could to escalate our battles. How horrible. I tore. We lost our pride as soldiers. Our fighting morale was shot, of course. But so was our will to live. Digo. So that's what happened. The burden we've carried these ten years has been a pretty heavy one. I think it's about time. Time for me to end this gale. Come on, you two. We're off to the mine. Okay. Yeah, when, when people go to war, they don't really care too much how the war... Uh, people have a tendency not to care too much about how the war ensues. And just the fact that the war is happening. Hey, Angela. Which is very problematic, as I'm sure everyone knows. If you can keep a clear head about yourself, you can avoid going to war. There might be disagreements here and there, but you can still avoid going to war. Then there's the people who don't care and want everything to go to hell in a handbasket, regardless. easy enough. Let's go. Never mind. I didn't notice the uh, jellyman. I was thinking about waiting on the uh, tram, but unfortunately, that takes a while. I'll take you on. You think I'm gonna go easy? That was a cinch. There we go. Dangerous. Go prepared. Yeah, that usually tends to be the case. Let's go. Here they come. You think I'm gonna go easy? Yeah. Is that all you got?
this route. Bad choice. How is it a bad choice when it's literally the way that we need to go? Let's hurry. Gale is in the mine. Just keep coming. You should have never showed up. That's going to be all for today. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed. And let's see if someone is streaming that I can send a raid to. Shall we? Uh, ooh, AJ is playing SCP. Alright, let's go ahead and jump in there. J four six one one. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. That way, and uh, in the next stream, it will be once again started on. Tuesday, right before Thanksgiving. So, see you guys then. And two, one. Read.